Dear viewers, education is a fundamental right of all children, yet it is a great challenge for most parents to make a choice of educational institutions for their children. Now, the big question is, is it a wise decision for a parent to sell what the family depends on in attempt to afford an expensive educational institution for his children, just with the aim of guaranteeing a successful educational career for their kids? Join us in today's debate. You are going to find out the answer to this question by yourself. My name is Gilead, your Gaza Media anchor and host of Gilead Show. In today's program, I will be bringing you a debate titled, Most Parents Do Think That Unless They Send Their Children to Private Institutions or Private Schools, the Children Will Not Succeed in Their Educational Career. Do you agree with this? So on the affirmative side, we are going to have Madam Betanga and Brucia. Madam Betanga, you are welcome to the program today. Okay. And on the opposing side, we are equally going to have Mr. Njinken Kone. Njinken, you are welcome to the program. Thank you. We are equally going to have a panel of judges. Okay, good evening, everyone. As the debaters and the debate says, sending your child, the guarantee of the future of each child depends on whether the child goes to a bordering school or a private school or to the public school. I would strongly say that the school your child attends have a major role to play on their future. It has a major part to play. And this, I have a series of advantages of attending a private school. The first of it being you, you as a parent who want to send your child to a school that, is, that has specialized instructors and who are well to do, who can easily nurture your ch child. In this regard, we'll look at the class size, the size of the class that we we'll obviously have from private schools is obviously the best thing. When a child, the class is small, the class size is small. Your child is sure to have a one-on-one -on -one contact with the teacher. And in that case, the teacher will be able to know your child better and be able to manage individual situations. And so doing, the upbringing of your child will be the best because there will be no child left behind. This can clearly be seen in schools that we have experienced here in Cameroon, like our Lady City of Wisdom. We normally send in children 35 to 50 at the ordinary level and advanced level, and they come out with very bright results. Some, most of them coming out with 25 points, 25, 25 papers with all A grades. And compared to other bigger schools like Lycée, and all the others, they'll send about 500 students, 1,000 students, and at the end of the day, the maximum they manage with 35% pass. Even though we are not saying that it's not, they do not do their best, but they will try. But the kind of results they produce cannot be compared to the, those of the private schools because the number is easy to manage. So I would strongly say sending your child to the private school is the best thing. And again, sending your child to a private school will always be the best thing for your child. Because in the private schools, teachers are more focused. Teachers in the private school, teachers in the private school are more dedicated and more professional. Private schools do, do a lot of close follow-up with the teachers. So much so that a teacher cannot have spare even a second of its time. And that counts a lot on the results. Because if you relent, I bet you don't know if you will not receive anything at the end of the day. But which is not the case with, with private government schools. Because at times people get there in the government schools, they just move in, they enter the class, and they sit turn around and leave. Some do not even go. After all, their salary is coming from your own day. But if you know that, or from the central service, if you know that your salary is coming from where you are, you'll be sure that you put in your maximum effort to meet up and be sure that you receive the salary that is worth hand giving. In private schools equally, parents, teachers, contact is kept because of that close, small size. All teachers are in close contact with the parents and to do a very close, a good close, a good follow up with their children. In that case, if you have any difficulties, 
It's not only the parent who notice or the teacher who notice, both of them will jointly handle it. And at the end of the day, the child will be the best. There, we also have extracurricular activities in the private schools. In private schools, they have the varied activities. These extracurricular activities include things like sports, music, arts, clubs, you can name them. And in these schools, most especially those in the boarding school, the children are there, they share their time, appropriate time to be able to manage all these various activities. And that you, various clubs and these extracurricular activities helps to stimulate students in their studies. As seen in a study by Stanford University, we found out that students involved in arts are more motivated that to learn and are three times more likely to win school attendance awards than students who do not partake in this extracurricular activity. So you will see with me that students in a private school will always be better for the future. Again, you want to send your child to a, want your child to grow, to attend a school with a religious background, in which case they will be well molded. You are sure of the morality your child will gain from that institution. The public schools is just everybody for himself. But in a private school, in a pr private or religious school, you are sure that they will mold your child, not only academically, but equally spiritually. If we, have, if we have a society whereby everybody knows the good and the bad of the society, we'll have an excellent society. We'll have a society void of crimes and everything. And this can only be gotten thanks to what the private or the religious schools can put in. And in most private, for most private schools, coming back to sports, athletic programs are a major aspect of their studies. Yeah, yeah I talked about extracurricular activities like things like athletics. In public school, public schools tend to think that if they have a, the way they can minimize expenses is by playing down on athletics and other things, on especially the sports, thinking that they can kept from kept their expenses from there. But meanwhile, in private schools, historically they have made sports an integral part of their educational program. They are sure to do a close follow-up and keep archives of all the past records of their trophies. So as parents, we know that you know what you want for your child. And when you, that decision should be made early mm -hmm. enough before an academic year, uh, before uh, at least a year before the enrollment for the child and make a decision that you will not regret at the end saying had I known. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Betanga, for those powerful